Welcome. Woman Art, the women's channel on YouTube. In this video, we present a selection of works of art that will lead you to the world of enchantment, meaning, and significance. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, subscribe now, like with joy, comment responsibly, and share with friends and family. Turn on the notification bell to receive a notification every time we post a new video. It is with great pleasure that we present the expatriate American painter who lived most of her life in France. Elizabeth Jane Gardner Bouguereau was born on October 4, 1837, and died on January 28, 1922. She was an American academic and salon painter born in Exeter, New Hampshire. She was an American expatriate who died in Paris, where she lived most of her life. She studied in Paris with the figurative painter Hugues Merle, the renowned salon painter Jules Joseph Lefebvre, and finally with the brilliant William Adolphe Bouguereau. After Bouguereau's wife died, Gardner became his lover, and after the death of her mother, who vehemently opposed their union, she married him in 1896. She adopted his themes, compositions, and even his soft facture, channeling his style so successfully that some of her works can be mistaken for his. In fact, she was quoted as saying, I know I am censured for not asserting my individuality more boldly, but I prefer to be known as the best imitator of Bouguereau than nobody. In 1868, Gardner was the first American woman to exhibit at the Salon de Paris. Also during this period, her paintings were accepted at 25 Salons de Paris. Awarded a gold medal at the Salon in 1872, she became the first woman to receive such an honor. Gardner Bouguereau's works were accepted at the Salon more than any other female painter in history and more than all but a few men. The biggest challenge for her training was the restriction of women studying anatomy from nude models. She circumvented this restriction by dressing in male clothing to be admitted to the exclusively male drawing school of the Manufacture Nationale de Gobelins et de la Savonnerie. In 1873, Gardner was finally admitted to the previously male Academy Julian, where she studied with Jules Joseph Lefebvre and Bouguereau. Gardner exhibited her work at the Palace of Fine Arts and the Woman's Building at the World's Columbian Exposition of 1893 in Chicago, Illinois. Gardner's relationship with William Adolphe Bouguereau was widely known and discussed in the Parisian art community. They did not keep their relationship a secret throughout a 17-year engagement. The couple dated for 17 years because they were afraid of crossing Bouguereau's mother. When she died in 1896 at the age of 91, the couple wasted no time getting married. Gardner was very independent and moody. Like the artist Rosa Bonheur, she applied for a license from the police that would allow her to wear men's clothing to attend life classes at the famous Gobelins Tapestries. She was a shrewd businesswoman and an excellent linguist, easily switching from her native English to French, Italian, or German to make her guests and potential clients feel at ease. She excelled in social graces and knew how to manage publicity and cultivate relationships that would help promote her career. Her ability to navigate social networks in Paris earned her sales and commissions for portraits. In the continuation of the presentation, this fabulous selection could open your soul to enter the world of creativity, existence, the revealing power of the colors of the body, the sound of the soul, and the scent of balm in the revelation of the spirit of light.